after New Year's Eve, the day before the Ananobi deal for the Knicks. And since then, New York's won five straight. They vaulted up to fourth in the conference. Are you still the biggest star? Yeah, we did. The Knicks as a contender for the NBA Let's go, Knicks. Knicks. Even though we just lost to the Magic, God damn it. What I have seen from them, OG and OG Ananobi, has been impressive. They have elevated defensively, obviously. We got to give credit where credit is due right now. In his five games, he's averaging 14 points or 55% shooting since the trade. Julius Randle is averaging five more points a game, leading them with 28.2 points per game. But I know the Knicks. And so I, here you are. You no, you don't, bro. Defensively. No, you don't know the Knicks. You don't. You have no. You got no clue. He don't even know who Hartenstein was. Oh my God! Offensively, bro, left during that comeback against the Miami Heat you know, a couple months ago during the play-in tournament. With what you have, how sad, bro. It's a sad excuse for a fan, man. He's he's a straight up just just a liar. You're not a fan, bro. You're not a fan, bro. Just just give it up. Let's give up the the title at this we point. We've forgotten Woj, Big Perk, Will Bond, what Julius Randle does when it comes to shooting them damn jump shots in the postseason. When you got a best four seven games to prepare for him, taking ill advised shots, holding on to the damn basketball too much with Thibodeau not using Jalen Brunson as a number one primary option. We got to take all of these things into consideration. I love what I'm seeing from the New York Knicks. I said it when the trade happened. They're not worse. They're better. There's no doubt. They're a good team. Are they one of the top four teams in the Eastern Conference? Yes. Right now, I say yes. Yes. I say yes. Not because of their record. Milwaukee's a problem defensively. Milwaukee's a problem defensively. Philly's a problem with their depth. And I'm looking at Miami, who I never underestimate. No. But the bottom line is the New York Knicks are one of the top four teams in the East. If the Knicks can I like get the chances to third, the if they can get to third, and it's the avoid Boston. Question. Avoid Boston. Yes, and, and you get Milwaukee in the second go. round. And Milwaukee, That's look, right. there's a lot of time. But they look discombobulated now. And they have not recovered at all from the absence of Drew Holiday. And some good news for the Knicks. I'm told Mitchell True. Robinson, who had ankle, sur ankle surgery uh, last month, there's... Good news, Woj. Woj dropping some, some gospel today. Optimism. Almost an expectation that he's going to be... Well, the other day, but whatever. ...back before the regular season is over. And so you look at the way Isaiah Hartenstein has played in his absence. Mm -hmm. And Robinson, one of the best defensive centers in the league, leading the league in offensive rebounds when he went out this season. Uh, there, there's optimism. He's back. He's there for the Knicks in the playoffs. And that certainly makes this an even more for formidable like team. Yeah. It's almost like a trade deadline pickup. And, and guess what? He'll come in as a reserve, right? Because I will leave Hartenstein, Hartenstein in the starting line. Bro, Perk be knowing. Perkins know more about the Knicks than Stephen A. By far. Brings to the table. The Knicks are the second best team in the Eastern Conference right now. Word. This guy, Perk, giving them credit. That's what I'm talking about, Perk. Oh, let me go back here. It's the Boston Celtics and then the, and the New York Knicks. They will, The New York Knicks right, right now, since they made that trade, they will beat the Philadelphia 76ers and the Milwaukee Bucks. They're the one team that physically matches up with Embiid in the front court. And the Bucks, huh? I don't know if we could. I don't know if I would go that far yet, but maybe. In a way, some others don't. Stop it, Walsh. Physically, yes, but skill-wise, it's a no. different strategy. One team that physically matches up with Embiid in the front court in a way. Some Hey, that's what I've been saying. I've been saying that, you know, we'll just know the first person to say it on, on ESPN, but I've been saying that, you know, you got, you know, Mitch and Hartenstein at the center position. They could slow down Giannis. And Julius Randle is like the only dude in the league that has the size and strength and speed to you know, be able to hold Giannis back to just bullying himself to the rim on every single play. Like, so... Defensively, yeah, we got the, the best matchup with him. What you know, I'm a little nervous now because Dame, you no, know, we had quickly and Grimes at the beginning of the season that could match up with Dame uh, more the most effectively, in my opinion, because you know, they could be chest to chest with him above the three point line. But now we don't really have guys who play that type of defense or chest to chest with people uh, that far up the court. You know, OG Ananobi is good, but, you know, he kind of, like, his size isn't going to allow him to, like, play that you know, type of, uh, you 
the defense on Dame, the, the type where you like basically suffocating him, not really giving him any space. Like he has that wingspan, so he's gonna give him a little space, you know, to really be able to use that wingspan. That that's just how he plays defense. So now that quickly has gone, you no know, via trade, and you no know, Grimes is out the starting lineup. I don't. I'm not too confident on that matchup as far as Dame goes. So that did change. But Giannis, you know, we did match up the best, you know, with Giannis in that way. But with Dame, this is another story now. Way some others don't. We'll see how it turns out potentially, but whatever. Well, hopefully, we we still got enough to to beat him. Stop it, whoa. Physically, yes, but skill wise. It's if it comes to that, different stratosphere. They wouldn't do anything against him, B, but I will say this to you. I'm willing to concede that's possible. But again, none of y'all have addressed what we have religiously seen from the Knicks with Julius Randle in the post. I root for Julius Randle. I appreciate the effort. I am man. No, you don't. I heard the last five games season. This brother played the first 77 games. Got mad love for Julius Randle. But it's Southport Central at Madison Square Garden. And going left, come playoff time, can I rely on him to look the way he looks now? Julius Randle spent uh, this offseason looking at a lot of tape of what he, how he played in the postseason, okay. how he played uh, in the later stretches. And you've seen a different player this year. He's been more efficient. Uh, th this is a dangerous team. Like, the, 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 the parts may, the, the sum may be bigger than the parts the way this group competes, the way they play together. Tom Thibodeau, to me, is a coach of the year candidate. Uh, this is a dangerous team if they stay healthy. It, it is. And then they have some dude named McBride, right? Some Remember dude the, named McBride? Yeah, I need you to nah, you see, that's how you know Perk is a bit way bigger fan of the Knicks than, than Stephen A. He knows Miles. He said Miles McBride? Some dude named McBride? Now, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Perk giving Deuce McBride some love. That's crazy. I need you to fix your body language. But let me remind you. Oh. Now, you can fix your face. You can, and they have some dude named McBride, right? Remember, look, you can fix your face. You and I need you to fix your body language. Hating. But let me remind Stephen you. Stephen A. Smith, stay hating. on this panel last year thought that the Miami fix your face. was going to be representing the Eastern Conference. And they had some by Smith. the name of Caleb Martin. That should have won. What's that? The Eastern uh Eastern Conference Finals uh, uh player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who should have won it, right? So Peace it's on. right there. They got the culture. They have the coaching and Tom Thibodeau. This Knicks team you need is one serious. score. You need one more score. I just I, I just you wonder. Yeah, we're serious. You heard that? Would see awesome. if they do get all the way to the NBA finals, a <laughs> oh, don't even, don't, don't sudden sweet. Don't tempt it. I know. Look at his face when we see him for talking national championship. Now they're talking about we might get all the way to the finals. Look at how look how quickly the narrative changed. Look how quickly the narrative shifted, man. <laughs> that will be an indictment of the Celtics if yes, the it would. get to the Yes, finals. it would. But I'll be, listen, I'll be proud of the Knicks to get to the conference finals. I'll be proud of them to get to the conference finals. That's reasonable. So, Brian. Look at that. Last week, it was, they might get to the conference, conference finals. Now they're talking about if they get all the way to the finals. The Knicks are a game out, right? A Let's go. Place. Now, 